Hello, ROS developers. Uh, today here, I'm going to show you a very simple example about how to provide parameters to a ROS node made with Python. So imagine that you have a ROS node that is made in Python for yourself, for your robot, and you want to provide some parameters to it when you are launching it. So how do we do that? So we are going to see this and you are going to see that it's very simple. So let's go for that with an example that I have already prepared that it's uh, on the ROS development studio rds.theconstructscene.com Here is where we are going to develop our example and test it and everything you can access at any time at the ROS development studio with any computer just by going to that address and creating a free account so you can develop with ROS with a Windows, Linux, Mac machine, anything, whatever, just need a web browser. So we just go there. And here I have created a project already, it's called the IvoSim. In, in this project, what I have is an Ivo robot, you know, that dog that looks like a dog, it's a robot dog from Sony. And I have the simulation here and I'm going to send to the robot, to the dog, some files that contain a predefined movements. So I would like to have a parameter that allow me to decide which file of movements I want to send to the robot. Okay, so that's what we are going to do in this example. Very simple. The first thing is to launch the simulation of the IBO. For that, I already have it done by the RDS here for me. So you go to simulation and select the IBO simulation. Let's select it. Then it's starting there. So in a few seconds, the IBO simulation will appear here. In the meantime, let me open the, the IDE, the development environment for files here in tools, IDE, and show you my program. It's a very simple program I have called test.py. And what it does basically is to, uh, well, it starts and then it uh, reads this motion file that I have hard coded here as a parameter, uh, as a parameter, but it's not a parameter; it's hard coded value. So this is the file that defines the movement, and then so basically it reads this file, and then it sends here, publishes the poses to the robot. Okay, so we have here several on that config directory. That is this config directory here. We have several different files and then I'm launching and sending this one okay so but I would like to have this as a parameter in runtime so when I launch this with the ROS run or ROS launch I would like to provide this value for myself not to be hard coded in the program okay so let's see how we can do that then let me show you here that the simulation has loaded so let me show you that the IBO simulation is around here here it is and let's put it on the on the center of the screen so we can see the movements yes so um, if I launch at present the current code that I have here what do I have uh, so let me open a shell here in tools shell and I'm going to put it here beneath here and now I'm going to run this program okay it's the test.py that is inside the package called moving Ivo moving Ivo okay so Rush run, moving Ivo, and test.py. And then we send this, and what it does, it, it should start moving. Yeah, you see the robot is moving, executing the movement, defining this file. Okay, but that's easy because it was hard coded here. Now, let's do the modifications required in order to accept this as a parameter. Okay, for that, what we are going to do is first to import some utilities from Python here that is the sys so it's import sys with by importing this we are allowing to get some functions that allow us to get parameters into our code okay so now that I have imported sys what I'm going to do here is after I have created the node and initialize everything what I'm going to do here is to get the arguments that are passed to this main program from the a normal Python 
file. So for that is where I'm going to use the sys libraries. And it's very simple. So I'm going to get the arguments in this variable. And then I'm going to use a raspy function to, to uh, parse those arguments. Okay, so this is a, um, a raspy function provided by ROS that allow us to parse the arguments provided to this main. And which ones are the arguments? Of course, the arguments are the ones that the system has passed to the this Python program, main program. And how do we do that? It's like this. This is the parameter that we provide to this function. And what we provide are just the sys arguments. OK, so what we are is converting the sys arguments provided to a normal Python main program into a set of arguments that make more sense are filtered by ROS. So in this case, it's going to be the same. So the result for this and for this is the same because we are not going to do any remapping or extra stuff with ROS. But this has to be the usual way of using arguments passed to your ROS um, Python programs. Okay, so just use this because it will make it more um, compatible with future uh, functionalities that we'll see in other videos. Okay, so in any case here in args, we have the argument that we have passed to this main program when we call it. And, and then what we should check is that these arguments, they have the proper length. And then the length for those arguments is just one. I mean, it's only one argument that is the name of the file. So we want to provide this to our program, this file or another file. So then here we have to check that the arguments, arguments, uh, args, yes, it's has the proper length and the proper length even if it, is, if it is one argument it has to be one plus another one then it's two and what is this second argument is the whole path of the file of the python file so that's how python works okay so when you pass the arguments in any case you will get an extra one that is the first of the arguments and this first argument that contains is the full path to your Python file, to your Python file. So we don't need this now because we are interested on the second argument, that the second argument is the name of the file that we want to execute here. OK, so if we don't have this, then we should signal an error, for example, um, like this. Error, no file provided, for example, just to keep it simple. And then we exit. OK, great. And in another case, uh, then what we do is we store in a, in a possible file. We call the MTN file. And we are going to store the argument Okay, from the args. Let's select the number one. Actually, number one is the second argument. As I said, the argument zero will be the whole file path. The, the file, I mean the Python, this Python file. This Python file, and then the second argument that is the in the in the arguments array is the number one. Will get the name of the file. Okay, great. So here we have. So here in MTN file we already have the file that we want to execute. So we can come here and just delete it. Oh, let me do one thing. Let me copy this and put it here, so I can have as a reference. And then let's put it there. OK, so so far so good. So we have it. Uh, we are passing an argument that is the name of the file. So I'm going to save. Then I'm going to repeat the, pro the, pro the program. I'm going to close this one. That's still moving. So now the robot is a stop. And let's run it again. So without any argument. So if I run it again, it should signal the error. Yes, error file not provided. OK, so let's run it again and then provide the whole file here. OK, so here we have and then it should start moving. Yes, doesn't say any problem. And then it starts moving 
Okay, so, so far so good. So we have that with ROS run. So we can do a ROS run of our Python node and then provide a file and it will work. Yeah, but imagine that you would like to have this instead of in a, uh, with a ROS run, but inside a ROS launch. So you want to launch this node inside a ROS launch file. So how would you do that? Okay, so now let's see how we can provide um, arguments into a launch file and this launch file provided to the node okay so for that uh, let me cl close this I'm going to create here another directory that is called a new folder that is called the launch folder and inside the launch folder I'm going to create a new file that is going to see uh, file dot launch yes and now let's open it and let's put the code inside so what do we have we have the launch of course and and the close of the launch great and this let me specify that this is an xml file so it will be easier for everything and now here let's say that we want to launch this node our node node and it's a node uh, let's call it for example mtn uh, file execution and it's from the package which package the moving io is my package the one i have created and which binary so is the type then is the test dot by okay so so far so good so this will execute the node but but it needs to have the arguments you need to have uh, still even if we execute like this this will pro will create this error if we just leave it like that so we have to provide arguments how do we do that in launch files with an extra tag that is called the args it's called the arcs with an S and here is where we provide the path to the file that they have here I'm going to copy and provide it here yeah and let me just put it this bigger so you can see better okay so I am providing the file here as an R and I'm going to close of course there it is so we have the whole launch yes so far so good so let's save it save it and then let me launch this for that i'm going to stop the previous program say stop and then let's do a ROS launch now of moving ivo and then the file launch great so now it's launching and it should start moving using the file that we have provided there great great but still still this is hard coded here so i don't want it hard coded because i want to provide the file during the launch process during here when i'm here so i don't want any hard coded information here because now i cannot i cannot modify the file that is launched here unless i come to the launch and then i add it and then i change it this is not a proper way of doing it so how can we provide parameters to the launch file that then afterwards it will be provided to the test pi very very simple for that we must declare here another tag that is called arc so let's call arc and then a name for for that for that arc tag its name let's say that is the file let's call the file what does this mean? This means, A, I am declaring that this launch file has an argument when you call it, when you call this launch file, has an argument that is called file that you must provide. And then what do we do with this? What will contain this? Of course, this will contain the name of the file, the path to the file. Okay. So then in this case, we can use this value here in the arcs and then and so substitute what is provided in the launch file 
by the arguments that we are passing to the Python file. Okay, so how do we do this? So we, very simple is by, let me delete all that. By doing like this, we say like this and then arc file. This means, A, hey, please substitute here, substitute here the value of the argument call file. So whatever we pass here, it will be like that. Okay, so let's save it and let's test it again. So if I launch like before without providing the file, there will be a problem. There will be an error and nothing will appear. So let me launch it. Yeah. Yeah. So there is an error requires the file argument to be set and we don't have it. Yes. Okay. So let's go and let's launch this file again. So for that, let's launch it and provide the file that we need. Okay, so here, here we have to provide the name of the argument that we are passing this value, and it is called file, as we have identified here in the file launch, it's called file. So we are saying, hey, please, the argument called file, provide this value, the whole sentence. So let's go for that. And now we should start moving. Yes, so we are providing that there. Very, very good. So just a small step before to improve this, before we close this video, is that well, this is very <laughs> stupid way of providing the whole the whole path to the file because it's very complicated. So let's make a small modification here in the argument. Let's calculate where this file will be because we already know that these files, config files, are going to be on the config directory here of the moving IVO. So it's going to be any of those. So for that, it's very easy. So we can simplify by giving to the launch file to find the path to those files. So let, let, how do we specify that? By doing this, by doing a find of the moving Ivo package. So what this means is please substitute wherever the path is up to moving Ivo package. And then inside the moving Ivo package, we have to go to the config directory. And then there, there will be the file that we are looking for. So by doing this, by substituting in this way, we can just call this launch file and provide just the name of the file, not the whole path. And that is easier. So let's test it. So I'm saving. And now here, instead of providing all this long string, let me just remove it and just leave it with the name of the file like this. And there it is. OK, so this is for today. So you have learned how to provide parameters to uh, Python node uh, whenever you are launching from uh, ROS run or inside a launch file. So I hope that that was useful. Remember that we are publishing one new video every day. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell so you will be notified. And let us know your opinions and your comments beneath the video and we'll answer your questions there. Thank you very much for attending. Cheers.